We can't tell people that what we're selling is something and expect them to not see through it. Is this product actually coming from the Swiss Alps or are we just Evian spelled backwards? Are we just naive? Donut seeds. <laughs> this is the next big product on Amazon. And the big problem is that there's so much stuff out there that it's very difficult to know what to pay attention to. So I wanna take you inside that problem a little bit and talk about why it has become such a problem. And I think the first place we have to start is by taking a little bit of the blame, right? More doctors smoke camels than any other cigarette. Therefore, it must be good for you. But the problem that all of this leads to is we're in the middle of a believability crisis. It's not just affecting people selling certain types of products in certain categories. This is affecting all of us. It is harder to be believable today. So what are you gonna do about that? How are you going to be more believable? It's mostly about the story that you tell. Be human, be real, be truthful makes a difference. Rohit is the Wall Street Journal best-selling author of five books on topics as wide-ranging as the future of business, how to build a brand with personality, and why leaders always eat left-handed. He spent 15 years leading brand strategy at Ogilvy and Leo Burnett marketing agencies, is a two-time TEDx speaker, teaches marketing and public speaking at Georgetown University, and has been invited to deliver non-boring keynote presentations at events in 27 countries around the world. And what they really want is an experience. Something that lasts for longer. Something that doesn't happen necessarily all the time. But when it does happen, we remember it. So what is the future? Well, the future for me is about trends. And I talk a lot about trends, business trends, trends in our behavior, why we do the things we do, and how that's changing from year to year. And my definition of a trend is a curated observation about the accelerating present. So I don't believe that a trend is something that's going to happen at some uncertain point in the future but that we're just guessing at right now. I believe that a trend has something to do with the present. And if we can learn to predict the accelerating present, that is the things that are happening right now, that will happen more frequently and with more impact in the future, then we can start to predict the future. The principle of not overplanting your field is a perfect analogy for something we do in business all the time, isn't it? We come up with all sorts of ideas that we never follow through on. We have all sorts of meetings that we probably don't need. We're overplanting our field in the business context. And by looking outside of that context, by engaging your curiosity, you see something that you usually wouldn't. You see a pattern that you might have otherwise missed. And not only would you be able to engage that curiosity to see those patterns, but you'd also be further along to predicting the future.